been injured for a while, and I never had gorgeous swipes. I'd say they're probably one of my weakest power moves that I can kind of do. But I understand how to do the basic of them, so I'm gonna break it down to you guys in the most easy way possible. Let's go. First things first on the realist. Second thing, second, we're gonna have to do it now. So we're gonna start with drills, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a couple swipe drills that we're gonna go over first. Drill number one, the way up. So you wanna have your feet side by side, shoulder length apart, hand down like this, hips as high as you can, back as arch as you can. Then from here, you're gonna push all the way to standing. You don't wanna go sink, push. That's cheating in bad form, and it's gonna end up negatively impacting you later in your swipe. So you wanna make sure you're here, hips high, and you push from up there. If you step back like that, it's not a big deal. It's just learning how to engage your lower back and your hips is the most important part here because you need to know how to do that when you're swiping. So you're here, hips, and you're gonna go, again, not like this. You're pushing straight up like that. So squeeze your lower back, push from your shoulder, and raise yourself. Number two thing you don't wanna do there, make sure your feet are flat and you don't go like this. A lot of people will tend to do this, and then cheat up like that, that is a completely different movement and that's not what we're doing for swipes. So make sure your feet stay flat when you're pushing up, like this, yeah? Make sure you can do that both sides so don't just cheat and do your dominant side as much as I know we all love to. Number three mistake that people do there is they bring their bum over their heels and then they push up. So they go like that. Make sure you're pushing with your weight on your back arm to the ceiling, yeah? So. That's the first drill. Make sure you can do about five of those each side without the sag, without the bump, without the jump, and without the... Second drill, your switch. So you're gonna go back to that same position, making sure you're as high as you can here. I'm not very flexible, but you wanna make sure you're pushing to whatever your flexibility limits are, yeah? Then from here, you're gonna do that same raise, but after you raise up a little bit like that, you're gonna switch hands. So you're gonna window this hand to the other side, like that. Then you're gonna go other side, okay? So front view, you wanna make sure again, you're not leaning forwards over your feet and you're not sinking down and pushing up. You're keeping yourself as level as you can and you're whipping this arm over after you push off your hand, like that. You don't have to go up and catch like that. It's just a quick little Switch, switch, switch. I would recommend doing about 10 of those. All right, third and final drill before we get into swipes. I know everyone is just wanting to get there, but these are really important. Is you're gonna do the exact same two things we just did. You're gonna do hips, push up, switch your arms, then your leg is gonna come out, okay? So you're gonna go here, push, switch, and then this leg. So if you go counterclockwise with your swipes, which I am, it's gonna be your right leg that you're kicking. So basically, whichever arm you're starting on, the opposite leg will be raising off the ground. So if I'm going from left to right, which if you're going counterclockwise, you will be, it'll be your right leg that's coming off the ground. So from here, you're going switch, kick, and hold. So make sure you can kind of balance that there, yeah? I know it's difficult, you don't have to hold it for a long time, but make sure you can hold it there for at least two to three seconds. Then what you're gonna do, the hard part, and this is the most important part for your swipe, is making sure you can kick that leg the same time you switch. So we're gonna learn that firstly by starting really low. So we're here, okay? So don't worry about your hips right now because we're just learning how to kick the same time you switch. So you switch your hands, right? Your leg comes up, yeah? Now, do it the same time. So as soon as we push off that first hand, this leg's gonna kick. So you're gonna be mid-air switching, okay? So you're going one, like that. Notice that impact on my hand you wanna make sure you have that impact. So you're not going like that, and you're not going like this, okay? You wanna make sure you're going up like we did, and you're catching, you're landing it. So you have to be going off and then catch. So notice there's gonna be that second in between there where nothing's on the ground but my left foot. So I'm going catch like that. So that's one of the most important parts there, yeah? Is that this leg is kicking diagonal across your body the same time this hand's coming to the ground. That's one motion. Don't switch preemptively. Don't go up in there and do some crazy stuff. It's here and hop, catch, okay? Same time. Now, once you're comfortable with that down here, you raise your hips up, you go here, you do that same 
switch, leg out, but in one motion. So you're going here, hit, yeah? And again, here, hit. So you're welcome to train this both sides if you want, but most people just need to do it their one side. So unless you want to be ambidextrous like that and learn both sides and be extra, which I definitely recommend, but I would definitely say try and hit at least five of those on your sweeping side, which is for me, right. All right, now that you have those three drills down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna forget our form for a second. We're gonna go back down to here and we're just gonna learn our quarter rotations, okay? You can start going for massive swipes and for three quarters of a rotation and whatever per swipe, but for now, just do quarter turns. That means just to be four swipes per full 360 turn, okay? So you're gonna start off here. Again, bum just off the ground, sagging, granny bootying. We're gonna go hand up like this. We're switching over, right? Leg coming up, yeah? Then this leg's gonna hook here, just like we do with footwork. Hand goes down here, and we're gonna rotate our hips straight up to the ceiling, and then come down, facing this direction, yeah? So again, this is starting just baby swipes, learning very basic right now. Then your right leg's gonna come off again. Here, you're hooking. Both hands coming down, facing y'all now, and I'm gonna kick my legs up and rotate them to the sky. Then I'm going again, switch, leg up, hook, hand down, look in the other direction, kicking my legs straight up and rotating them to the sky. Yeah, last one, going up, hook, hands down, looking towards the back now, kicking my legs up and rotating them to the sky. So notice I always rotate the same direction, okay? So once you can do that, down low, baby style, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly bring that up and up and up. So now we're just gonna slowly take away pieces and level ourselves up. Just like if you're baking some dough and slowly rise in the oven, we're gonna slowly rise our bodies to the sky. So we're gonna kick this leg, same as before, hop. Then you're gonna hook this leg over, this time it says off the ground, and you're gonna go straight to the sky. So go and kick, rotate. Then, you're gonna repeat, switch, hook that leg, rotate, and kick, rotate, and kick, rotate, yeah? Now, once you got that comfortable, all you're gonna do is, rather than stopping here, you're gonna go straight through. So you're gonna go, kick, just like that, yeah? So as soon as I kick here, and I'm catching, this leg's leaving the ground. That's very important at the same time. So you're going, kick. This leg kicking, kick, as soon as my first leg kicks. So going, sweep, catch, rotate. Sweep, catch, rotate. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh, those look like terrible, those are baby spies. I don't care about that, I want the big thing. I know we're gonna get there. Don't worry, calm down, take a breath, breathe. But if you understand how to do that low, you can do it high, I'm telling you. It's the same thing, it just gets a little bit more difficult. So it's the most important is that you understand that feeling because that's the swipe feeling right here. That's a swipe. If you can do that there, you can do it anywhere. That's when we start down here. Because if you understand that, you understand the base, the core, the mojo of your swipe, CO. That was kind of awkward, eh? So now, all you do is raise your hips, and then you're gonna have basic swipes. So you're going here, raise them up now. Try like medium, okay? Just here, like a nice little W freeze. Going. Kick, swipe right away. If you want to try one of these, feel free to try that a little bit higher first. But if you're comfortable, let's just go straight through it. So for ease of watching this video, we're going to go straight to kicking it and going around. So going, hit, and then again, and again, and again, and we're there. All right, now that you can do four kind of like medium bad form ones, what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way up and try to get beautiful ones. So, to get pretty ones, all you gotta do is raise your hips fully to the ceiling, and then, every time you land, readjust, okay? Quarter turn, readjust, quarter turn, readjust. So we're going here, hips up, and you're gonna go the same thing, kicking diagonal up here, catch. Readjust your form, make it pretty again, because let's say you catch like this. Yeah, go like that. Then all you gotta do, Readjust back up, rotate again. A couple key points. The number one thing I see that people struggle with is literally not understanding the three basic drills we went over. 
Literally, I've seen like 30 different cases of people not gonna do swipes, and it all boils down to people usually not understand that basic stuff in the beginning. If you understand this kick right there, that switch at the same time, keeping your hips up, and not either going through here, back there, not do all those mistakes we went over earlier, you're gonna get swipes. You may not have the most beautiful ones in the world, but you're gonna be able to have the basic quarter turn swipes, okay? Now, once you have all of that, you're gonna start wanting to go for multiple without stopping. How you do that is as soon as your first foot taps, this foot is gonna go tap, kick, tap, kick, tap, kick, tap, kick. And then eventually, you won't need that foot anymore, and then you can start doing one leg swipes, okay? So if you notice, I'm gonna be landing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two consistently. One, two, kick, one, two, kick, one, two, kick. Now that you can do stop, go swipes, you're gonna start doing swipes consecutively, which means without stopping. So start exactly the same, but now when you land, just go again right away. Like that, yeah? And that's literally all it is. You can land either right, left, left, right. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day because eventually you're gonna probably be going to one foot swipes. But like for me, for instance, I started off doing two foot for a long time. Then when I last trained swipes like a year ago, I was doing one foot really hardcore. And now going back to two, two feels really awkward and it hurts my one foot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I'm probably not gonna continue with two foot for very long, but it is 100% where I would recommend you starting. So I wanted to make this as kind of like a basic swipe tutorial. I'm not gonna be adding in all the other kind of little details that come when you get more advanced for swipes, but if you guys would like those more advanced details like hand placement or troubleshooting swipes, like what I did with my flare video, which is kind of like explaining a bunch of basic problems with them that people have, I can go more in depth with that. Or again, if you just want the one foot swipe tutorial, let me know, comment down below. If you like this video, please, as always, everybody, comment down below, like the video, subscribe, smash the bell button, and don't forget to be awesome today because I forgot what else to say. Thanks so much for watching, make that video for now, and I'm cool. Patch, boom, pat, boom, 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 boom. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.